My name is Francisco Garcia. Um, I also go by Enough, and I'm a muralist, artist, and uh, basically uh, we're painting a mural here today in Phoenix, Arizona. We're honoring a man uh, by the name of Sergeant Tommy Lopez. I believe that this is gonna be like a really cool mural. It's gonna go from, you know, the sky being light with clouds and the clouds being behind him. And it's eventually gonna transition into like a darker sky where we're gonna have Georgia's straight uh, silhouette uh, to match the sky. And it's just gonna be a really beautiful mural to honor uh, their family. And I feel honored to paint their, their backyard. Basically, most of my background is, is uh, latex paint. Uh, for the faces and details and things like that. It's gonna be spray paint. I like to personally use Montana colors. So Germany and Spain is the, the, the regions that I get my paint from. And for me, it's the best spray paint. I find that it's good quality. Um, I try to use quality supplies and materials when I use my work. I feel like there's no shortcuts when you're doing uh, work for people and you wanna make sure that you use good quality because you want the mural to last. I learned that when you're doing murals um, to honor somebody that has passed away or a loved one, it's like a big deal. Like this is this was a person that was like a father, a brother, you know, a friend. Um, you know, they had sons and daughters and uh, people that cared for this person. So I really want to be able to do a good job on this piece and hopefully. Um, it could bring some healing. I noticed that a lot of the times when I do artwork, uh, people will reach out and they'll say, hey, Francisco, you know, this mural of my dad means so much. Every time I look at it every day, this is one way that I speak to him or like I feel like he sees me, like every time I look at it from a different angle in the backyard um, or just how it, you know, it's touched them in a different way. So just hearing the healing and how happy it makes them during tough times, especially during COVID or losing a loved one, like it's not easy. So it kind of brings joy to me to, to be able to bring joy to somebody else or some sort of healing or, or, or a, some sort of peace, you know? Um, hello, my name is Deborah Lopez. I was born and raised here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm a native here been here all my life. Well, my husband Tommy and I were together for 27 years. Um, we were married 20 years. Um, we got married back in 2000. Like about four years ago, he was diagnosed with um, pulmonary fibrosis and um, he died in uh, March 10th of 2020 um, before all the pandemic hit and his year anniversary just passed. and. I had been thinking through the whole year, like, what could I do to honor my husband? Because um, one of my stepson's friends had a mural done by Francisco, and I seen the um, mural, and like, it just hit me. I was like, you know, that would be just beautiful to honor my husband, and um, I could be able to see him whenever I came to my backyard, and. Um, you know, and just uh, different things that he enjoyed in life and what he was proud of. So if I could like bring that out, that would be, you know, like beautiful to carry on his legacy. The last two years of his life, he, um, he, you know, did a lot of things on his bucket list and, um, we did a lot of traveling. We did, you know, we, we went to comedy shows. We went to just a lot of things he never used to like to do before. He just like packed it all up in those two years. And um, he did everything he could to, you know, fulfill me and make me happy and, you know, do the things that I wanted to do. So I think he knew his time was coming and he just didn't know when and where or what day, but he did everything he could to, you know, make those memories for us. I picked this picture because when I look at it, I see, um, you know, he's happy. He's, you know, and um, that's him. And he'd always wear his um, veteran hat, Desert Storm veteran hat, with, with 
you know, with pride. Um, if that hat got old, he'd go get another one, you know, and um, mostly all the pictures of him are of him with his hat. So when I seen that picture, I said, that's him. And that's a, that's a picture I want to see of him when I come out here. That's how I want to remember him. I think it's going to tell a story, a story of him and everything that he loved and everything that he was proud of. Um, and he was very proud of his family. And like you said, Francisco, before, um, I really do feel my, like my husband is here with me. He's here. My name is Henry Rojo. Um, I'm the son of uh, Tommy Lopez. As walking back here, the, the picture really amazed me. This picture right here, uh, it only speaks a thousand words, but it, it really means a lot. And it's gonna feel like my dad's here every single day that we come back here and just see that picture as, as we're walking out. The stuff that's gonna be incorporated with the picture is gonna be, it's gonna be great just cause it, it really speaks of him. I know like my dad um, looking down, seeing this picture is making him very happy. You know, um, I don't think, you know, with, you know, time prior, him and my mom could ever picture something like this happening, especially a picture of himself being back here. But I know um, he's, he's looking down on us right now, smiling. Um, really, I think he would love this picture, man. You know what I mean? I, I, I love this picture. I just wanted to say, um, I love you, Pops. Um, thank you for everything that you taught me. I couldn't have done it without you. And, you know, the family misses you. I think I can speak on everybody's behalf and just let them know that this is going to be, this is going to complete the home.